Betelgeuse is a colossal red giant floating in the Orion constellation. Its mass is so huge that if placed in the Sun's position, its outer edge would reach Jupiter's orbit. This means it would engulf planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars in one fiery celestial wave. Such size and scale is hard to imagine from our tiny spot on this blue planet. Betelgeuse is nearing its final stage in the stellar life cycle, which adds urgency to sky observations. When it explodes, the cosmic event will shake our understanding of astronomy. It's not just a star, it's an unpredictable time bomb in the galaxy. Few stars have created such awe in both scientists and skywatchers. Betelgeuse isn't new to fascination, it's been monitored for centuries by astronomers. Now, its behavior is more than curious, it's scientifically crucial to study before its catastrophe. The star is 764 times larger than our Sun, which is already a blazing inferno in space. Imagine a celestial object so vast its edge crosses planetary paths. This scale tells us that Betelgeuse is in its dying phase. As a red supergiant, it has stopped being a stable fusion engine. For millions of years, it has burned hydrogen into helium with insane thermonuclear force. Now that hydrogen is running out, gravity causes the star's surface layers to swell out. This leads to planet-devouring expansion, like a fire-breathing monster growing uncontrollably. If placed where our Sun is, it would cover up to Mars, orbit, maybe more. This unstable phase is like walking a cosmic tightrope. Any change could trigger an astronomical collapse. Understanding this time in a star's life gives scientists rare data points. We can't replicate or simulate a live star death in a lab. Betelgeuse started off as a blue giant, shining hot and bright across the galactic sky. Over time, it cooled and grew, shifting into a red supergiant state. Inside, nuclear fusion continues, fusing atoms and releasing blinding light. This ongoing energy release fuels its brilliant and ghostly glow. As hydrogen runs low, gravity wins the fight and pulls in the stellar layers. That causes the star's outer shell to balloon and cool, turning reddish. That soft red hue makes Betelgeuse unique against the night's stellar field. It's cooler than our sun but shines with a kind of mystical radiance. It also acts strangely for a star, its brightness varies without warning. These light changes have made it a celestial enigma in space records. In late 2019, Betelgeuse dimmed so drastically, it caused a worldwide panic in astronomy. By February 2020, the dimming hit its lowest in recorded history. This sudden darkening was called the Great Dimming, and it made headlines across the planet. Was it dying? Was it about to go supernova? Or was it just dusty space? No one really knew, and that mystery has remained unsolved. While brightness changes aren't rare, this one was suspiciously strong. It lasted longer and got dimmer than previous events in the star's history. Everyone wanted to know, was this the final warning of an upcoming cosmic explosion? If it does explode, Betelgeuse would go supernova, unleashing pure energy chaos. It could light the night sky brighter than the moon, an unforgettable spectacle. This light could shine for weeks or our months, visible from Earth without a telescope. But the real science lies in the particles, not the glow. When the star explodes, it would shoot out cosmic rays and neutrinos. These particles travel close to the speed of light, spreading across the Milky Way. Our atmosphere and magnetic field would keep us safe from harmful effects. But scientists could detect neutrinos, giving insights into stellar cores. That's the real prize, understanding what goes on in a dying star's core. This is data we can't get from normal space telescopes. A supernova also changes the galactic landscape. It sends out heavy elements like iron, gold, and nickel into cosmic dust clouds. These elements, born in the furnace of death, 
become part of new planets. They may even form future life forms, restarting the cycle of cosmic rebirth. So Betelgeuse's death isn't just an end, it's a transformation. It completes a celestial loop that began with ancient stars before our time. When it goes supernova, it will be the most monumental sky event in human memory. It could happen in a few decades, or take thousands of years more. Until then, we watch it glow in Orion's belt, like a celestial clock ticking away. It's a silent reminder of how vast and strange our universe really is. Its red light continues to mesmerize, glowing in defiance of time and death. Every night it stares down from the sky, daring us to understand its secrets. Soon, maybe, its final act will be one of epic violence and beauty. And we'll witness the end of a star that lived a celestial epic across the ages. Until then, keep watching the stars. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.